Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing good. Um, yeah, today's tutorial as you can see in, in the animation. I just thought I would just show you guys real quick how um, I did that. I'm actually doing that for a current client of mine. And I thought it would actually be a good tutorial to share. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's open to After Effects and get started. This is actually not the final animation, but um, because uh, we're still doing some revisions, um, the show has not launched yet. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just really gonna show you guys how I got to this. So in this, um, these are my shoes right here. You can see sneaker one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new composition. Uh, let us make this one sort of a boxy look. So let's do 800 by 800. Um, let's call this box comp. Okay, so we have that. So now I'm gonna create a a circle shape. So you click on ellipse. So what you wanna do is hold on shift and control and Sorry, you just hold on, on shift, it gives you a precise circle. And if you hold control, um, what I'm not even doing, sorry, don't hold control. Hold on shift, think it's space bar. Yes, yeah, sorry. So space bar to put it right in the middle as you want. So I'm just gonna do right here. So I have a perfect circle. So right now, let me just rename the circle to circle. So what the circle will do is just gonna be a guide for us. So now let us bring in, let us bring in all our sneakers. They're actually really, really big files. So I'm just gonna scale them down to, let's say like 30. Oh, that's still too much. Select everything again. I'll do like 10. That's still too big. Oh, let me just increase the size of the circle. Scale. Let's do. Yeah. So now let's reduce the size of the. Let's do five. Actually, I'll do seven. Let's just leave it at this for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, so now what you want to do is for the shoe one, I'm just gonna bring it. I put it on right here for the second uh, for the next two put it right here for the next you put it right here uh, number four put it right here number five put it right here yeah let us get some spacing a little bit of the spacing Let's do right here then the black one Let's do like right here so now you already you've already had it all your shoes you can see the circle like I said is just to guide us so that everything is on a straight line sorry kind of like circular okay so what you want to do now is you want to hold on a shift hold to select all your all your shoes now use this pick whip here you tag it onto the circle so that way um we've parented um not the, the the circle is not a parent to all the shoes so you see why that will make sense now so now if we go onto the circle if i scale it can you see now it controls it controls all the shoes right so now I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, however that I want it. So now I can go to rotation and just rotate the circle. So I'll click on rotation. Um, this is actually such a long comp, I'll make it 15. So now let us go to one minute marker and let us rotate the circle. Wanted to come back to the first one that we had right there so pretty much 360 so you see that but now to make it slower we'll drag it out 
to whatever we want let's say five seconds okay cool now let us select our keyframes and just um, easy ease them okay cool so then let's go to our graph editor because we want it to have like that smooth you know easy ease and now look on this drag it out a little bit and this drag it out a little bit you see the difference now see it starts low goes fast stops slow cool huh so that's it with that so now i'm sure you're wondering like why are the shoes everything just facing the same way so what you want to do is on the first one that should be fine on the second one all you got to do is just click on the rotation and just rotate the shoe to kind of you know go in that um sequence uh, in that order sorry so then on the third one we'll go on the rotation we rotate it to feet two on the fourth one we rotate oh, sorry I was on scale rotation we rotate let's go with it and the last one rotation on the so now I play you can see they are all like you know facing the same direction so now what we want to do is just hide the circle so now you can see if I had hide the circle the shoes are going in and don't forget you can always move stuff around it's like really really cool All right so for the part where you see in the loop in the loop like right here so when my shoes go sorry like right here it goes back then it finishes so just to add that extra sauce to it so what you want to do is your position in the rotation sorry the rotation of the circle so after it lands you want to move forward a little bit then rotate it back a little bit right then rotate it back a little bit then you move forward and copy this keyframe and just put it there so it goes like yeah so what you want to do is sorry actually the last keyframe here just try to move that forward a little bit let's delete that one delete that so as it moves forward the next keyframe let us move backwards a little bit just a little tinge then go to the last keyframe here now copy this one and put it there so it goes, goes back, forward. Actually, I made a mistake there. It's supposed to land to where we actually wanted it to land. So it goes forward, comes back, forward. So what you can do to make that motion really tight is just to stretch it out. So what I'm doing to stretch it out is I select all my keyframes then I hold halt and just pull it out as much as you want right cool so if you want to make animation slower all you want to do is select all the keyframes hold alt and just drag everything out so I'm gonna do 10 seconds and 10 seconds should be fine comes back goes forward and start cool so now that we have that in place so now we want to get that this right here where we want to see only the shoes so now what we can do is actually this I'm gonna drag it out and put it inside tutorials 
tutorial so I'm just gonna drag it put it on there so now uh, let us create a new composition don't forget and um, tutorial shoot yeah, don't mind me so anyways so now you have a new composition now drag the box uh where's my box where's my box where's my box okay the box is inside the tutorial so now drag the box comp into um into your new compositions as this tutorial so what you want to do now is with the box composition you just want to drag it below and just uh, go back to your box composition and scale you want to scale all your shoes let's do like 10 so now that they are so big what you want to do is the circle just increase the size of the circle I know I know so now you don't see anything in composition let's command K to bring up your composition size and let's just make this uh, actually let's just go to the preset and let us make it a 4k composition um, so let's make this 24 click ok reduce the size let's <laughs> me this the size actually these shoes might actually be too big let us reduce the size of the I hope you guys are getting the idea behind this so now if we go to the shoes let's just scale it down a little bit so because what we're trying to do now is we want to get the shoes to be just the main focus you know just like that but in this case i want to make sure this is gonna be my final composition so i can just scale it up a little bit so i don't see i don't want to see my other shoes so what's going on here the problem is they're just too close so i can go back to the box composition Either I scale them down just a tiny bit. Um, let's do like six. Yeah, I think six should be fine. So now you can see we're getting there. Let's just scale it a little bit. Let's do 80. Uh, maybe 82. So this is just for the sake of the tutorial, I don't want to see the, let's do 85. Okay, 85 seems perfect. So now, when I play, comes back, comes forward, and stop. I can still see a little bit of, but what you gotta do is just, you know, make it bigger. So now, I do, command Y I want to create a background I'll name it BG okay so inside of a black background I want to do a gradient background which is what I had so just type in RAM you add that to your background come here I'll swap the colors I'm gonna change this RAM shape to radio then I'll change it to you can always do whatever color that you want but I just thought um, you know a more um, a more bright color would be cool so we'll change this black to uh, maybe it's kind of actually let's make it darker so what you want to do now since we have a radio you just want to scale down because with these handles right here with these handles right here you are able to control how much 
of the radio that you want so I'm gonna drag the brighter one to the middle then the darker one and just stretch it out just a little bit so you want to have that gradient a nice gradient and honestly this is pretty much it cool huh this right here is really bugging me so i'm just gonna increase it a little bit tiny bit yeah okay so that's pretty much it and to add more sauce to it let's go back to the composition uh you need to add something called motion blur to all to all your uh to all your layers so that when it's rotating you can see the motion blur makes it feels fast so i had motion blur go back to my tutorial uh, click on toggle switches if you can't find this menu toggle switches it will switch in between that and this one so i'll add motion blur to my layer and voila so if i play it now you see uh, it's adding the blur to it it makes it feel more realistic because naturally if we've seen anything like this motion blur is what makes our hands like it feels like everything is like all cramped together so that's what you want with your animation as well um let's render this and um we'll see how far we've come actually our animation stopped at 10 so right click train part and let's play our animation nice voila guys so that's pretty much it um feel free practice if you have any questions and don't just feel limited to this you can always add your own you know twist you can use any product that you want you know just a nice way to kind of you know show a product so um yeah i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe like comment like i really want to know what you guys want um but like i said i'll try to do more motion graphics animation tutorials as we move on and i'll catch you guys in the next video